hello guys welcome to another short tutorial on angular in the previous video we have seen how we can add or make use of ag grid in angular and using ag grid we have put some of the data into a tabular format and we have customized it in this video i am going to show you how we can create a generic filter which can filter or search data in all columns and rows so let's see how we can add quick filter which will search the data in this table. Let me go to the code. The first thing which I need to add here is an input field where we can enter the search of words or keys. Based on that search keys or, a, or words which we have entered in the input field, AG Grid will provide us the results. So let me add an input field. Here I have added input field and defined class as form control so that it uses the form option of Angular. And I have provided an ID for this one. And here I am using two-way binding. And whatever the data I am adding here, I am binding that one to the variable search text so that I can make use of this one in the TypeScript file. And based on the word which we are giving here, we can search the text. And then I have placed a simple placeholder which will be a message to the user or a hint to the user which can be seen in the input field. And the next one is ng model change. Whenever user key in or enter any word here or any letter here, this method will be called. So this we are going to add in TypeScript file. And then I have added a width of 300 pixels so that it can be big enough to enter the search text. So as we are using a form element, that is input element, in app module TS file, we need to import the forms module. For that one, go to app.module.ts file and here import forms module from Angular forms and define this one in the import section. That's the first step of defining the input field. Next, in the AG Grid Angular open tab, add grid ready function. So for that one, add grid ready is equals to on grid ready function, which will accept the parameter event. So whenever this grid will be ready, this function will be called. Earlier, we have defined the row data. Now put this row data into this on grid ready function. So let me copy this one go to the TypeScript file and paste this function which will accept the parameters params and then cut this row data and paste into this function on grid ready one and as now this is in within a function let's define a variable row data of type any this will be now this dot row data. Now this row data is linked here within a function. Then we need to define another parameter here that is grid API active. Whatever the parameters we are receiving here in this on grid function, we will define that one to this grid API using params dot API. This will be used in the on filter box changed function which we have defined in the input field. So now let's define on filter box changed function. Within this function, define the parameter grid API active just now which we have defined. And for this one set filter which is available in the AG grid, that is set quick filter. And within this one, we need to pass a parameter that is nothing but the input whichever is keyed in by the user in the input field. That is search text, which I have added in the input field using the two-way binding. I will add the same search text here and add the semicolon at the end. And uh, as we have not yet defined this one, let me define the search text of the type any. 
So that's it what we need to do to add a quick filter into AG Grid. Whenever user clicks or enter any word or letters in the input area that will be stored in search text variable which we have defined in the TypeScript file search text. And as soon any letter will be entered by user this function will get called that is on filter box changed that we have defined here and within this function we are passing the search text which is entered by the user and by using the AG grids set quick filter we are filtering the rows using a variable grid API active and that grid API active is defined and the data is fed here using the parameters API that is when this grid is ready so this is the flow of how it will work when a user enters any text here now all files are saved here let go back to the browser you can observe there is an input field which is being displayed at the top and the placeholder which I have added here enter your search text here so now as soon as I enter any keys you can observe there is a quick filter which is filtering the row items whichever matches this particular word it's a generic search and it will search for all the columns available in this AG grid and if I search for 91 you can observe it has listed me the rows which are matching either in this column or in this column this 91 is matching in this particular column for few of the columns and for the few columns it's matching in area column as I said earlier this generic search will search for the items in all the columns so that's it guys how we can make use of quick filter available in AG grid I hope you liked this video. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it to others and subscribe to my channel.